Hi guys, welcome to Bookish Shayla. Today is day six of 31 days of cut files. And here is the cut file. And I colored it this time with Nuvo Drops, MK Gun, who created this cut file over at Some Assemblage Required. The other day, she did the same thing with one of her cut files, and I was like, hey, I could do that, because it adds like a little gloss. Now, it's not perfect. I first used a paintbrush, and then it just wasn't thick enough, so then I just went in with my finger. But I used, let's see, metallic bottle green crystal drop olive branch crystal drop um regency green vintage winter pear vintage pioneer green vintage and saddlebag vintage so those are the drops that i used and I like the way it turns out. Like I said, now you can tell that it's not even and all that, but I kind of think that adds to it since it is kind of a rough, you know, outdoorsy uh, cut file. So there is my cut file. Then I pulled, because the cut file says breathtaking, I pulled, maybe if I can show you, this picture. This is taken at Monticello, uh, Jefferson. President Jefferson's house and from his doorway or from the front of his house this is the view he lives on a mountain or he lived he's dead now in case you didn't know but his house is on a mountain in Virginia and it's just absolutely beautiful so that is the picture I'm using I also pulled this sketch from paper issues it's the July 24th sketch um, I'm going to use that. I've also, for this week, even though it's not my product focus, all of the cut files from this week are outdoorsy, like hiking and uh, breathtaking and mountains and stuff. So I pulled 49 and Market out because I don't ever just think about using those for outdoors picks. But this one is Moonlit Garden. Yesterday I used Nature Study. And they just have a, a lot that could be used for outdoor pictures. And I don't know why I don't think of those collections more often. So I pulled out my uh, 49 and Market Moonlit Garden. Then I've already kind of done a few things. I'm going to use this stamp because I think that one is just really cool. So I'm going to do a little background with it. And then I'm also pulled, and I know it's a coffee ring, but I just love these, um, this stencil here, this one, and I've pulled my olive close to my heart ink. So I'm going to do a little bit of that in the background, but this was, this is the paper I picked out. And then the, if you didn't know, you can tell from on the back of their, uh, I guess title paper are some cut aparts and I didn't I don't know if there was an ephemera with this collection but if there was I didn't get it so I cut apart this wasn't a tag but I made it into the tag I got these cool it's from Spectrum Art Creations go to spectrumartcreations.com and these are her, their own design and they're tag makers so as you can see there's a quarter inch half three quarters and one inch and you just put them up there whichever one you think you need and cut it and then you flip it over and do it on the other side that way you don't have to take that little piece of paper and flip it over and everything and you get a perfect cut every time they also have a bigger one where you actually use this part instead of um the bigger part instead of the little corners but there's it's so cool it's such a cool little tool so I made this wasn't this was just a, a background and I made it into the tag that's needed and then this was also there so that's also going to be on there because in the sketch there's a tag and then there's a background on the tag and so that's what this is going to be and then I cut apart some leaves and a bird because there's trees in my picture and I never use the bird and so I'm like I'm just gonna put it on this page so that is what I've done so far I've already done a few things to get ready but let me 
do my um, stenciling and stamping on my background. Now there is plenty on this already that I really don't have to do this. I just kind of want to because I don't know, I've really been in a mixed media mood lately. And so I'm just going to mix media it up. And I'm going to use one of the littler brushes just because I'm only doing this one little bit. I have so much fun with the 31 Days of Cut Files because it really makes me get some stuff out that I haven't used in a long time or I haven't used or I don't use very often, I should say. Yesterday, I don't have a process video because I had my um, All About the Mouse and my weekly hop or my weekly wrap up. And so I didn't need a third video for the day. But yesterday, I... Um, uh, hold on, sorry, I'm thinking. I used, I embossed my cut, uh, my cut file, and that was a lot of fun, which I'd never heat embossed a cut file before, so I enjoyed that. All right, so I'm just cleaning off my brush. I'm going to use a brown for um, my stamping. I think I'm also going to use some of these, or maybe this little circle, kind of around two. This is the Studio Light Feelings of Freedom. I love Studio Light stamps. They're just so cool. I'm just going to use a light brown. Cashmere is the one that I go to, is my go-to for a light brown. I haven't used these, so let me do that. But yeah, late, like I said, lately I've just been feeling like doing something mixed media y. I don't even know where I want this. I just wanted it on here. So. You know, when you start doing mixed media stuff, you're just like, oh, hey, let's just pull something out and see what happens with it. And that's kind of what I did with this. I'm just like, well, let's just add a little bit. And I'm not going to add a lot because the paper has so much going on that I just thought it was would be fun to add a few little things here and there. So that's what we're doing. And I can't get my stamp back on where it goes. There we go. Couldn't figure out which direction it went. Okay, now I'm going to take this little circle and I need to put my tag down so I'll know where. And I'm cover covering up that butterfly, but it is fine with me. I, I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to put one here and one there. And I'm going to put one. There. There we go. Yep. That looks very much like the sketch. And I like it. Now, I am going to ink this. But I'm going to do it with a darker brown. So, because this, what I made into a tag and the background are very similar in color. So, I'm going to ink it in a darker brown. And I do need something for the fiber, so let me, um, I have this a little bit left on this roll of twine, so I am just gonna do this, and then I'm gonna staple it down. I've been using my mini stapler. I don't remember what this is called. I've but I've been pulling it. Uh-oh. Guess what? Didn't get it in there. Ah. Hate it when I do that. Let's try it again. So now I'm going to have two staples that maybe no one will notice. 
Yeah, I got it close enough together that it's not too noticeable. But I've my mini attacher, I've been pulling it lately. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and glue my um, tag down because I know where I want it to go. It is currently like 7.30 in the morning. I woke up at 4 o'clock and could not go back to sleep. Oh, I tend to do that when I start. I don't want to say I'm stressed out because school is starting, but I'm kind of anxious about it. And I can't find the blue piece that was going to go behind here. <laughs> That's my picture. And I'm going to kind of offset it a little bit. But where did that other piece go that I cut out? There it is. Um, Yeah, when... It's time for school to start back, even though, guys, I've been doing, I've taught for 20, let's see, I've been married for 27, so this will be my 27th year to teach, so it's not like I'm a newbie, but I don't know, there's just something about it. Every year, I start getting a little anxious about it, and I just, I don't know, I stop sleeping well. <laughs> and all that, and it has officially started because last night, or this morning, I woke up, and I'm gonna cover up my stamping with this. Oh well, that's all right. It'll be okay, Shayla. Um, so I think I, I need to go back in and restamp over here because I've covered it up a little too much. Uh, but yeah, so I woke up at 4 a.m. And did not go back to sleep. Sorry, that was really loud. So, it's going to be a fun day today. I have... I need to go to school and work. I'm just... I don't know. I need to go back to sleep and take a nap. That's not going to happen. Uh, I need to put the date. May 26. 18. But yeah, um, back to the 49 and Market Collection, because I'm sure you're tired of hearing me whine about being tired. Uh, you know, they changed their collections. Like, you know, used to, you could get the film strip pack, which I so wish they would do this again. And then they took that away and did just an acetate. And then, so I don't know if they didn't have an ephemera pack or if I just didn't get the ephemera pack. I don't know, but it kind of makes me sad because I like their ephemera packs a lot. Okay, where's my, there's my brown. I really like their ephemera packs they have it has so much stuff and great for layering and but yeah so I went on my little scrapbook store to see if they had one and I couldn't find one so maybe they just didn't have an ephemera pack with this one I do have a whole bunch of rub-ons and I thought about using one of them instead of my stamping and stuff but I felt like stamping today Okay, so there's a leaf, and I have this bird leaf. I think I'll put it here. But in all honesty, I think this is um, the first time I've even pulled out this collection. Uh, oh, I do that. I buy all the 49 Market collections, and then I stick them together and then just never get them out because they're so pretty. Why would you actually want to use them? And I know I probably say that every time I pull out a 49 er market, but oh, I'm so bad about it. Okay. So there's that one. All right. Now, oh, I guess I should make sure I put my cut file down, huh? I think it's going to go kind of circling around. Do I want to cover up my picture? I wouldn't mind a little bit. Circling around like that. Because I don't want it just like up here. So I think I will. I think I'll circle it around like this. 
and then it'll cover up the tree will go on it just a little bit but that's fine I mean it's just a bunch of trees it's not like oh crud can you even see that I forgot I moved my mat down yesterday and you have probably been cut off on the bottom I apologize for that guys like I said I'm sleep deprived so hopefully you'll give me a little bit of a break Yesterday, um, my school pays for us to go to Mardell's, which is like a Christian. Uh, they have school supplies. They have other things, too. but And uh, we can spend $200 in, for our classroom. And so me and a couple of the teachers, most of the teachers went last week. But... Um, a couple of us couldn't go, and so me and a couple of the teachers went yesterday. So that was a fun day, but, you know, we have to drive two and a half hours to get there, so. I uh, didn't really get in my scrapbook. I did my 31 days of sketches, or 31 days of cut files layout when I got home yesterday evening. But, uh, yeah, I didn't get a whole lot done. So today, I'm hoping to spend it in my scrap room, getting some videos done, getting, I'm behind on my um, scrappy square scrap lifts. I'm behind, or not scrap lifts, uh, photo scavenger hunt. I should have put this down first because I wanted it to end. Hold on, I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna do it from here because I want it to end right there. Anyway, so I'm behind on those layouts. I'm behind on my Bashir Scrapbook Stash Olympic Challenge. I'm I'm just behind. And I, like I said, I need to get some videos, my, some 31 days of sketch, or I keep saying sketches, cut files. I need to get some of those videos up for the week. So I am hoping to spend what I can of the day in my scrap room. I need to go to school. I have rehearsal tonight, but I'm gonna spend as much time as I can in here getting stuff done. Okay, that kind of gets lost in the busyness, but it's all right. Just trying to. Keep it down. Okay, so I am not going to need to do a whole lot else. Let me look at the chipboard. I have the chipboard bits, and let me just see if there's anything else that I want. I might add some butterflies. Um, the sketch has some butterflies going up, so I might do that because I'm sure there's some butterflies in here. This is my new tray that I got. I showed it to you the other day. I'm so happy with my new tray because now I can like dump the stuff out and actually see it you know my little uh my little one I couldn't really do that um do I have another one a different one it's not just up oh, there's one okay and then this one they have another one down here I could do that, and I think that may be it. Um, I have, I do have the wishing bubbles and baubles, so I will probably add some of those. Oh, I was gonna glue my um, my twine down so that it's not hanging off the edge there. Let me do that, and I think that's gonna be it. You know, that's the thing about Forty Nine and Market sometimes is when you use it and you use it especially for a background paper one of these collage looking things you don't have to add a whole lot you can but you don't have to and this is going to be one of those times that I choose not to do a whole lot else with it I'm going to keep it pretty pretty simple because I just love, I'm trying to think. I do, they have their title up here and 
since my title is down there, I think I might add, let me see if I can find Glimpse in Time, Making Memories. If I could find a title Most of these are all like lovey-dovey things, like Glimpse in Time, Ch Celebrate This, Making Memories, All My Heart, Calm Blue Skies, that would work. Life with You is not, I was just going to, I was using that as an example. Calm Blue Skies, let's see, what's this one? Keep Calm Dream On, Remember This. Best of times, What's this one, timeless memory. Just breathe, hold on to hope, treasured photo, best of times, thoughtful, be still, listen. I kind of like that one. My heart is happy, amazing heart. Do I want calm blue skies or be still and listen? I think I'll go with the calm blue skies and then I'm gonna put a little butterfly. Do I have a smaller butterfly? I was gonna say, I was gonna put a little butterfly on it. That one's a little smaller. I bet I have a, I could do a, a rub on butterfly. I think I'll do that because that one's just, those are just a little too big. So I have the rub ons. And they have butterflies in it, so let me pull that out. I think I'll do just this little brown one that's facing that way. If I can find my scissors, here they are. So I'm going to do calm blue skies up there like that. And so I think my butterfly is just going to go just kind of up here. Calm blue skies like that. Um, tell you the truth, I have kind of stopped buying the chipboard just because I have a hard time using chipboard. I really, and I know this, but you know, it's 49 a market, it's so cool, and it is, I do love them. And I still will buy like this kind of chipboard, but like the words, as much as I love them, I just, I have a hard time using them. And so I've stopped buying them. So I'm doing better with my buying at 49 and Market. I don't just buy everything anymore. Okay, and then I'm gonna take one of the Nuvo drops that I used down here. I'm trying to decide which one. I think the metallic one. And use it as the little dots that used to be where we would put our brads. If you used these label like I used to use all the time. Okay, so there's that. Now let me get my bubbles and bobbles. Maybe if I can get my lid back on. And do that. I think I'm just going to do it around my breathtaking. Um... Kind of one of each color. Oh, my tummy just growled. <laughs> guess I'm hungry. Now I'm going to take my date. Oh, I forgot to glue my butterflies on. I guess I better do that. Put my date down. And let me glue my butterflies on.
And that is going to be my layout. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoy the 31 days of cut files hop that are challenges that have been going on. And I hope you've been watching everybody. There's some amazing, talented people that are doing this. So go check them out. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.